You're watching Middle Georgia Pride, only on 41 NBC News at 6. Once known for having the country's largest mental hospital, today Milledgeville has outgrown that stereotype and grown into a city rich in history and higher education. It's this week's Middle Georgia Pride City. You know, we're just a hospitable southern town. And not just any southern town, Milledgeville was the first capital of Georgia from 1803 to 1868. In fact, next to Washington, D.C., it's the only other planned capital city in the nation. So there must be some insightful, even revolutionary, reason the Founding Fathers chose Milledgeville, right? The story goes that uh, they, they tasted the water and mixed it with their whiskey. And the water tasted so sweet that they said this is where they'd put the capital. John Millage, the state's fourth governor, was in office at the time, and so the capital city was aptly named Millageville. Today, more than two centuries later, the city of 20,000 is a great mix of families, state workers, entrepreneurs, and of course... Yes, college students. Milledgeville is home to Georgia College and State University, Georgia Military College, and Central Georgia Technical College. And their financial impact? $175 million annually. Of the non-urban universities, the Georgia College has the most impact uh, of any on their surrounding community. It's like a small town feel but still a good school. You can get all your majors, all your minors, everything here. With a river, a lake, rich history, a charming downtown, and abundant educational opportunities, it's no wonder students and residents alike call Milledgeville home. And another perk to Milledgeville, Mayor Bentley says it's right above the gnat line. Yes, those little annoying bugs aren't found in Milledgeville, and that's because the city sits right on the fall line. 